LOL, seriously, he's here. Back for some more semi permadeath. We are at the Hollow Terminus. We've got to get that mind arc to Artemis. We're at a Hollow Terminus. We were definitely not at the same one. I'm very happy that it let us uh, progress the save to wherever we were. I want to get this thing done. <laughs> we have a new interceptor update out. I, you know, I want to get playing it. I mean, I've already played it a bunch. I've played it probably just as much as I've played the game in total in the last couple of weeks already. Put a dozen hours into it this weekend. Uh, done lots of stuff. I've made hardly any content yet. <laughs> so we're doing some semi permadeath today. Uh, I'm going to do some ship upgrade. I don't know when we're airing these videos. Let's let's see. I, let's not make promises yet. I don't know what we're... I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm excited about the new content. I'm having a blast with it. I, I know it's probably not as much as it seemed to be at first, uh, but I'm really happy with the new ships, and I'm really happy that there's a bunch of new ship hunting to do. All right, Artemis, same as always. You're dead, so we're just going to use the mind arc. We're not going to comfort you. We've already tried that. All right, and we'll talk to Null again. So we're going to have to go do some stuff for Null now. We're going to have to go find a crashed freighter. I don't know if we have to go to an observatory first to find the crashed freighter. Something like that, maybe. All right, seek help for Art. I mean, after we get rid of Artemis, we'll have to do that. Um... We've been grabbing the free stuff the whole save. I'm, I mean, you know, I am a little bit antsy to... Oh, good, we already grabbed all this free stuff. Good, good, good. Look, the ground's even dug up. Excellent. We've been here before. So, uh, this time we need to go up to the anomaly. So we shall do that. Dark, a physical item? And if so, where is it? Well, it's it's telling us to go talk to Nada, so we're in the right spot. I don't see an item in our inventory though, which worries me. Uh, and after playing a dozen hours on advanced saves with full suite of movement modules uh, it's really annoying to come back to here and not be able to run across the anomaly or jetpack up to Polo uh, or nada reveal the mind arc ask for help we're not going to ask why we're not going to ask questions that extend our text to click through uh, I've decided. <laughs> All right, we need to talk to Polo here. Some people just start running to the back. They think they know what they're doing. I've done it. Gotta talk to Polo. He needs to turn the machine on before you go back there. There you go. Machine activated. Run straight past Mercury. He waves at us and we just like, see ya. Very Darth Vader-esque room, actually. Cool stuff. All right, Terminal Prime. I think the light changes when we make our choice here. We're gonna allow Artemis to die, as we usually do. Yeah, look at that. The bright white light went out and replaced with red. Shot of this. I'll come back later and get a good screenshot of this. This room is still open later. <laughs> oh, hey, the light changed again. Oh, well, let's get to it. 
We're not wasting time with screenshots or free nanites. Speak with Nada and Polo if you wish. I don't know if we get extra nanites. Return to space when ready to continue. I am ready to continue. And I'm out of breath once again. It's a big anomaly when you're uh, a young character. Plus everyone knows, that Darth Vader has breathing problems. You can hear it. <laughs> Don't expect him to have a lot of stamina. All right, what is next? Hey, it's Apollo. Yeah, Apollo's pretty excited until we tell them that Artemis is dead. Uh, it was just a machine, I'm gonna say. Uh, more important things. I could have just agreed. Tell them of my choice. Ask if it's right. Apollo says that's that's good. He's very forgiving, no matter what you pick. So is the Atlas, actually. So we'll end our communication there, and we need to meet or try to use a portal. I think is what we need to do. Uh, what planets do we have in the system? Do we know? We've only been on a couple, right? Glacial and Acrid. Um, this is where we found all the creatures. Yeah. What about here? Five out of seven. Is it underground? It is. Um, alright, let's go to the frozen one and look for a portal. Well, it's not that one. Not that one. Doesn't look like either of those, so I'm betting it's this one over here. Yeah, that looks right. Just want to wait till we're in atmosphere to hit scan. Again, we don't need nanites. We're so close to done. <laughs> we just need to do this task for Apollo and then a bunch of tasks for Null. I thought we were jumping right into the Null tasks, but apparently not. So much more to do. <laughs> We are, we are more than halfway, though. We've already uh, deleted Artemis, so... Hard to call these the Artemis missions anymore. They're now the Null missions, I guess. Alright, we are in atmosphere. Well and truly, let's hit scan. Ancient monolith detected right over there. Approximate location, well, I see one right beneath us, so let's land at this one. It's probably where we're going. Yeah, we've got a mission marker right on it. That's great. And once again, we're just wasting time. I said I wouldn't, but it's so hard to resist words. There are like three words right here. Just right here for us to grab. And a milestone. If I was keeping this save, it would be worth nanites. <laughs> That was easy, a lot easier than normal. We can just click locate a portal, easy like that. Red dots. 
while we're here. No, just green paw prints. What was the other thing we were missing? Underground and... Found in the south common ground. All right, we're in the north. All right, let's see where the portal is. Maybe the portal's in the south. And maybe it's out of cave entrance. Uh, it's southern. And it's three hours away. That might be far south enough. daylight though somehow it's pretty close to daylight it might be dusk or dawn I can't tell either way we do not have an approximate location we can head straight to our mission marker Looks like it might be daylight. Doesn't seem to be getting darker. We do not have a cave entrance right here though, unfortunately. So at best we're gonna find our uh, southern little companion. Yeah, we are in the south, barely. We do have fauna spawning in, so let's just take a quick peek around for red dot. It says common. There it is. Little eight-legged cow. Ooh, I was louder than normal. Ah, do we have the resources? This could be, this could be a problem. Something else we should probably do is try to switch ships if we have a ship we can switch into. Alright. Uh, okay, this is going to be the tricksy one. That's so much cobalt and a hydrogen. Oh, 24 does fully charge these so hopefully we bought enough cobalt yeah it looks like okay good uh oh I have two copper of the 24 needed I definitely don't have enough cadmium oh no we're gonna have to go mine copper just to get this portal started maybe I do have enough cadmium Oh, good, thank goodness. That was close. <laughs> oh, there's the address. Now we gotta go tell Apollo the address. You know what we could do? Yeah, in case, in case we're curious about it. We could not put down a safe beacon. No, we can't. <laughs> we don't have enough ferrite, never mind. Uh, unless we already have a save beacon. Or the metal plating. We already have the metal plating. It costs two metal plating. Sure, why not? We can buy metal plating. Uh, scan for a hollow terminus. Okay. A blizzard? Oh, come on. I thought we had wintry weather here. I thought that was a nice, peaceful winter weather. Maybe this is a triggered storm by the mission. So I saw this is an approximate location. I don't know why it's not... There we go. So we gotta keep an eye out as we get close. During a storm, of course. Of 
hold this temperature. Interesting. Oh, there's, there's a landing site. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah, there's free stuff to grab here, but it's very cold. Let's just get upstairs. Look how fast that's draining in a storm. I think there might be a safe spot up here. An indoor spot at this level. here no okay well let's recharge it real quick then and we'll just have to deal with uh, talking to Apollo here during the storm no not life support has a protection please there we go I know, suit lady, I know. What do you want me to do? It's out in the open here. Yeah, uh, I found them. Not gonna ask about the farm, I don't have time, we're in a storm. Give the glyphs. All right, there we go. Oh, we didn't lose any hazard protection while we were in there, that's good. Oh, speak to no, I'm glad we didn't jump down right away. And the storm's clearing. Good, good, good. Uh, we'll accept. We're not going to ask questions. Yeah, observatory. Okay, so we do need to find an observatory to find a crashed freighter. So let's head over to this observatory of Nulls. Could have sworn. Oh, okay. The mission changed. You know what? Uh, I've d I've decided we're not doing. We're not telling Nada and Polo anymore. <laughs> Let's get this done. There we go. First traveler. Let's find this observatory. Twenty seconds away. Did it say approximate? I think it did. Yeah. So we are looking for a building. There's something. Oh, there's a building right there. Also, right beside a sort of cave entrance, we might get our cave creature here. We're not at the correct location. We're 600 away from the correct location. That's interesting. Yeah, we're not going to get our cave creature here, I don't think. We're standing right where it would appear normally. Okay, alright. So we want to go 600 that way, huh? What's over there? Another building. That we can't see. Alright, well let's... That's only 400, 500 away. Mm hmm. We have enough fuel to call our ship in. We'll just run for it. Storm isn't happening right now. We have a little bit of oxygen. We are getting close. We're going the right way, even if this isn't where we're supposed to go. It's the right way.
we already scanned this guy? Yeah, we already have. Okay. Oh, we're going the wrong way now. 400, huh? Hey, there's something up the hill there. Yeah, that, that looks like an observatory to me. All right. Technology and since we're down to oxygen, let's pick these up along the way. I mean, we have... Um, Dihydrogen, we can probably make a life support gel if it comes down to that. Might need some ferrite. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> but look, there's plenty of ferrite around. Since it's going to cost some fuel to call the ship in. Let's call it in at this landing site. Uh, it might not cost fuel if we're calling it in to a landing site. I don't remember. We don't have nav data. Well, let's grab... It's probably on the ship. <laughs> Save and chart gets you nav data each time, so may as well. to solve a riddle? No, we just have to uh, talk to this thing. Okay. Extract our coordinates for a crash freighter. Is that it right there? No, that's the thing that we highlighted manually that we landed at before. Okay. It's off planet, first of all. So we're definitely going to have to fly there. Not a red dot, no red dots. We're up on a hill, no cave entrances here. Oh well, it was worth a shot. Worth a shot. To. That looks like the fungal one. Toxic or whatever. Acrid. Yeah. Well, that seems to be the only two planets we're ever going to visit in this system. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, next time we need to find a portal, though, we should come back to the frozen planet here because we have it marked with the save beacon that we spent two precious metal plating on. Very interesting that we had to go to a observatory on the ice planet to find a crash ship on the acrid planet, but that's whatever. <laughs> okay, so we are going to need to dig some stuff up here, and we're going to need to talk to the beacon between each dig, but we can dig all of them up first and then just grab them as we need them. First things first, let's get the ball rolling to find out that we need the encryption keys. Now in theory we only need three. Uh, how do we Dig. There we go. Don't want your 
slime or your fluids. Log encryption key earned. Yeah, and it's radioactive in there once you open it. Now we shouldn't need to dig anymore, in theory. So we need another log encryption key. We'll leave. I find if you try to do these all in a row, like you grab your log encryption keys at once, it doesn't work. Fortunately, there's three of these things that are easy to grab with minimal digging. We got the one that needed a tiny bit of digging first, and these two are out in the open. Log encryption key. Skimming through the story of... Uh, Polo's crashed ship here. This is Polo's freighter, or a version of Polo, I guess. Maybe not our Polo. Why couldn't this have been one of the ones that had like four cobalt in it in just one slot? Easier to, to empty than two slots, and I want the cobalt. <laughs> yeah, life support low. Well, we looted oxygen for that. And hopefully that's our last one. Yep, yeah, leave. There we go. All done. Yeah, that's why I got in the ship, suit lady. Thank you, though. Gotta go back to a hollow terminus to talk to Null. And I turned the wrong way. Meteor shower, cool. Proximate location for a hollow terminus. Of course, there's a cliff right by it, blocking the view. There it is, right there. <sighs> All right, just in time. We're going to talk to Null here. Ugh. Bit of lag. It's okay. Less laggy than usual. I think it just didn't like the rain. Oh, oh, don't fall off the edge, Darth. You don't have shields. This is hardcore permadeath, Darth. <laughs> I don't even want this guy to trip getting off the ladders. I'm worried about that. Who knows how much damage that would be. Just one shot, stub the toe. Cool, let's get a screenshot of Null. We don't have a screenshot of Null yet. That'll do. The vignette is off in the uh, sides there, <laughs> in the in the night sky. All right, no. We'll share our discoveries, and we'll come back next time. And continue on with the next bit of Null's missions. I think we only need to do one more thing for him before we uh, give him the finger. <laughs> Oh, we should have asked how they knew, not about the atlas. Whoops, just kept clicking one. My bad. Uh, how do you know? Oh, 
All right, we gotta go visit the cartographers now. All right, fine. Well, that's it for this time. Oh, hey, look at that thing up in the air there. <laughs> Until next time, everybody. Have a good time. <laughs>